वेलकम टू डेट सेशन अगेन क्लास नाइन चैप्टर फाइव लैंड फॉर्म्स ऑफ द अर्थ जोग्राफी ना द स्टडी ऑफ द लैंड फॉर्म दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन बाय द नेम ऑफ जियोमोफोलॉजी द लैंड फॉर्म्स ऑफ द अर्थ दे आर वॉट इज विजिबल टू अस द माउंटेन्स द हिल्स द वैलीज एंड द प्लेन्स बट नॉट वॉट इज नॉट विजिबल टू अस इज हाउ दीज दे आर फॉर्म्ड ना दीज Land forms they are formed because of the internal and the external processes. The external processes that include the weathering, mass wasting, and erosion, and internal process may be because of the effect of the earthquake, volcanoes, or the movement of the plates, the tectonic plates of the earth. Now, these movements then give us the various kind of the land forms that we get to see, either in the form of the valley, the mountain. the plain area desert area delta area volcano or an island coming to the first one of the land form that is the mountain now if we have to define mountain how would we define it any raised up surface of the earth or a chain of the raised up surface of the earth that is known as a mountain the mountain it is a study in itself which comes in a form of orogenesis the type of the mountains that include the first one under study and that is the fold mountains the fold mountains they are formed of the forces of the earth which is known as the compressional forces now these forces the two layers of the earth they would act upon the center of the earth and that center of the earth it will rise up the whole layers of it it will rise up now it will represent the skin of an elderly person we could see the wrinkles over there so the same way these layers it would be present on a piece of a stone leading up to the formation of the fold mountains now the limb of the mountain that moves up that is known as the anticline and the layers of the mountain or the limb of the mountain that goes down that is known as the synclines so the arrangement of the anticline and the syncline gives us the formation of the fold mountains which is caused how by the compressional forces of the earth fine understood the compressional forces of the earth we have the category of the fold mountain that is known by the name of the young fold mountain now these are the young mountains how young are they 65 million years old now these are the category of the mountain that would have the high peaks the peaks would be covered up with the snow the stones it would be very sharp sharp rugged area it would be present now all of these features they make up the young fold mountain now young fold mountains they are also associated with the areas of the volcanoes because where the earth it has been fractured there the formation of the young fold mountain it would take place because that is the process of folding so all around the pacific ocean area we have the presence of many active as well as the extinct volcanoes so here we finish up with the fold mountains next in category is the block mountain now block mountains if the fold mountains they were caused by the compressional forces these mountains they are caused by the tensional forces which is otherwise also known as the stress forces of the earth where the stress leads to the cracks on the surface of the earth now what would happen that such a movement it will leave a block of the higher land standing between the two areas of the lower land and the higher land it would then be known as the block mountain or the host the best example that is uh, available that is the vosges and the black forest mountains the next category of the mountains we have the residual mountain now residual is the leftover the residue because of the prolonged erosion and weathering processes that goes on the peaks of the mountain they would be eroded off they would be weathered off the height of the mountains it would be then decreasing fine now these sort of the mountains 
where the height or the peak is reduced down. That term that we use is the residual mountains. They are the mountains of the denudation. Now in India, we have the best example that is of the Aravali ranges in Rajasthan. Once these ranges, they were as high as the Himalayas. Now because of the continuous weathering, the height, it has been reduced down. So studying the various categories of the mountain, we now come to the topic of what is the importance of the mountain? What do mountains give us? On the very first go, the mountains, they act as the climatic divide, the climatic barrier. They do not allow the rain-bearing winds to cross over from one region to the another as of our Himalayas. Fine. And then the Himalayas, they also do not allow the cold Arctic wind to enter over India. Then the terrace farming, it could be practiced. Uh, mineral resources, they are present. Because of the presence of the glaciers, the sources of the water, that is their tourist activities that can go on. Tourism is the best industry. Then uh, the many hydroelectric power plants, they are formed up over there. Then borders of the various